How to create a simple alert dialog with a text field in Flutter. Let's start with an elevated button that you see here on the right side. And if we click on this button, then we want to call a method open dialog. Inside this method, you call the show dialog method, which comes from the Flutter SDK. And within the builder, you can create your individual alert dialog. So here you can define, for example, a title, which is in our case, a text. And you can also put a content inside, in our case, a text field. And lastly, you could create some actions. In our case, we create a text button submit. As a result, if I click on this button, we show here this dialog. In our case, we have a text field and maybe you want to open the text field automatically up when the dialog shows up. And secondly, if you click on the submit button, this is currently not working. Let's start with the submit button. So here we call then a method submit. And inside of this method, we call the navigator pop method to hide our dialog. And secondly, you could also go to your text field and here you can set this flag autofocus to true. With this, the text field has an autofocus so that the keyboard is showing up immediately. And also if we click on the submit button, then you see that our dialog disappears because we have called here the navigator pop method. Next, we want to access the value that we type in our text field and then we want to display it, for example, in our UI or within a snack bar. To access the text of your text field, you need to go to your text field and add a controller. And this controller you create then here within your state. So we initialize first of all this text editing controller within the init state. And here within the dispose, you also clean everything again up. And now we can make use of this text editing controller. Therefore, if we click here on the submit button, then we want to put here this controller text inside of the pop method. So the pop method is closing here this dialog and we also pass a value back to the person who has opened this dialog. So here we have opened this dialog and here you can basically return then some value. So in our case, a string because we put here a string inside. And finally, you can then access the string that we put here inside. So this is here returned by this method and we can simply go here to the top and await then this value, in our case, this name that we have put inside of our text field. Next, you can check that the name is not empty that we have put in our text field and also check that the value is not null. So in case the name is not empty, then we want to save our name inside of our state. So let's go here to the top and create a new field where we store our name inside. And now you can do anything with this name. So for example, I go here to my body property of my build method. I put a column around my elevated button that you see here on the top. And on top of our elevated button, we simply create a row with two text widgets. And here I put then basically the name inside. Make sure to click on hot restart and then you can try it out. So I enter here a name and click on submit. And then you see that the name is appearing here in our UI. If you click again on this dialog, then the name is still inside. So maybe you want to clear this name. To clear the text field after your dialog was closed, you simply go to your submit button. And if we call the submit method, then we also want to clear our text editing controller, which is basically controlling the value of our text field. Also, if we click on the stun button, then we want to also hide our dialog. And therefore you can simply go to your text field and here inside you call the on submitted property. Then we call our submit method to also hide our dialog and clear the text field. Let's try it out. I open the dialog and now you can click here on the submit button or also on the stun button to hide here the dialog. And if I open the dialog again up, then you see that our text field was cleared. And by the way, if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.